Привіт, доброго дня, доброго вечора. Ну, сьогодні вже закінчую матч Стейдіца з Супертортом. I'm fine, thank you. So, after game 15, Stejnitz was leading, only plus one. And uh, in game 16, he is playing with white. So, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, again Spanish. Black uh, wants to play Berlin defense, but uh, Stejnitz played modern line, d3. And... Now white has threat to take the pawn on c6 and on e5. So black has <coughs> thanks for subscription. Thank you very much. Black has uh, two main possibilities and uh, okay. Also knight e7 is a rare possibility. This idea if knight takes e5, c6. Unziker games. Unziker. Okay. But uh, which game uh, of Unziker are you interested? Okay, I can write for myself this idea. Unziker. Unziker against famous players. So I remember he played many games against Botvinnik. So knight takes e5 is the bad move. Uh, so knight c3 is knight c3 here. And black has choice. If knight g6, d4. It's not for me. But okay, knight e7 is real line. But uh, <coughs> Here is the idea that white losing the piece because bishop is hanging. If bishop goes, queen a5 check and queen takes e5. So main option d6 or bishop c5 is another option where black is uh, protecting his pawn by indirect way, obviously, white can take, but now not possible to take because queen d4. So it's matter of taste, d6. c3 played Wilgelb Steinitz. Uh, another very popular move here is castle. Idea that now if black plays a6 with idea bishop a4, b5, and knight a5 to have a very comfortable position after exchange strong white bishops, white bishop. Uh, now after a6, bishop takes c6 is d4, and d4 is coming, and this position, according to theory, it's more promising for white. So after castle, usually black uh, doesn't play a6, but uh, they are playing bishop d7 or g6 uh, or bishop e7 g6 is dangerous because d4 so, but after c3 the most precise uh, for black is to play a6 now and only after bishop a4 g6 so now bishop takes c6 is not so strong as after castle because this this Okay, it's uh, playable as well, however. Rook e1, and then d4 is coming, but only it's question if uh, white can fight for advantage here. Where are back? Of course, this is totally playable position as well. For example, c5, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop d7, 
knight c3, castle, bishop f4. So maybe things are not so simple after bishop takes c6. Uh, black has, uh, they can also play this. And after castle, knight d7, this idea to play this structure, but okay, bishop e3, and then knight bd2, knight c4. So usually white plays uh, bishop a4 uh, after a6, but maybe bishop takes c6 line, not so stupid, this idea, castle, rook e1, and d4. Necessary to check, however, in this position, castle after d4, e takes d4, take this knight look like strange with pawn on c3 if white is taken with pawn d5 is coming and black has contraplay if e5 knight e4 and black has contraplay in c2, for example, c5. It's, it's not forcing line at all, of course. He takes c5 now. Bishop takes c5, bishop e3, something like this. Okay, but this is tot uh, totally different game. So, but after bishop a4, g6, it's a little bit uh, more pleasant for black to play this position with a6 and bishop a4. White has uh, not so many possibilities like without a6 and bishop a4. But okay, g6 is totally possible and uh, again white can play uh, castle, something like this, rook e1, castle, knight bd2 with idea if a6. Now bishop a4 is possible or just take on d6, c6 and d4. It's another logical continuation if knight d7, knight c4 with two ideas. One idea to take on e5, another idea to play knight a5. So it's possible. If bishop a4, knight d7 is one of possible idea. If knight f1, knight c5. Now white has choice again in bishop c2, knight e6, black wants stop in d4, and if bishop e3, f5 is coming. It's very complicated game. But okay, state is played d4 immediately. Looks a little bit strange, because uh, firstly d3, then d4. Uh, I want to remember that in previous games, all of previous games, Steinitz played the uh, line castle and rook e1, knight d6, knight e5, bishop e7, and not modern bishop f1, but he played bishop d3 in all previous game with white. But uh, in game 16, he decided to play d3, after d6, c3, and after g6, he played d4 immediately. So it's not necessary, but he played this. <clears throat> Bishop d7, totally normal reaction. And now knight bd2 he played. a4? What do you mean a4? a4, I know only this variation. So castle, knight takes e4, d4, knight d6, and this, a4. Where else? Ah, after knight d6. Uh, uh, immediately a4. I don't know this. Is it possible? a4 here? Okay, at least it's new for me. And what is your idea if I just take things and where is compensation? Mm. 
No, rook e1 might be six. Ah, now a4. Ah, now a4, yes. Now a4 is possible. Uh, some kind of modern theory. Bishop e7, knight c3, yes. And knight d5 later, yes, yes. There is some theory with a4. Okay, but uh, let's come back. So, uh, after g6, d4, bishop... Uh, d7, totally normal reaction. Bishop g7 looks dubious somehow because white can play d5 after a6, bishop a4, after b5, bishop c2, and the a4 is coming. Black has some problem with b5 pawn. Okay, probably it's still playable for black, but a little bit risky. Maybe d takes e4. D takes e5 is also that can be considered after knight takes e4, queen d5. It can be unpleasant for black. After knight c5, white can just take on d6, also possible bishop g5. So bishop d7, normal move. Knight bd2, it stays. It's an interesting moment. Uh, so he is playing uh, without tempi because d3 and d4 he played. But, uh, white has some concrete ideas. For example, white can take immediately on e5. Because of positional reason for black is better to uh, change knights because uh, knight uh, c6 is restricted by pawn on c3. So here takes takes queen b3. It's possible concrete idea, but uh, white wants to win the pawn. Obviously, black cannot take because now black uh, just losing. If king takes d7, check, and, and queen takes d7. Ah, they can take. Sorry, rook d8 is possible. So black is not losing. And maybe they have not so bad position. Suddenly, for example, castle knight c5 takes knight d3. So probably it's good compensation. I was sure that black cannot take, but they can. So I was sure that probably the black can play this, 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 this. This idea rook fb8. If f3, probably queen d3. It's dangerous somehow for white. Who is the most passive and defender player? I don't know. Strange question. Okay, so because if uh, to speak about strong players, usually they were active players and creative players. But okay, I'm not sure that uh, here compensation is totally enough. For example, white can play knight a3, after rook fd8, king f2. What is this? Solid. Okay, maybe so. Bishop f8, probably. Also, after queen b3, okay, knight takes e4 is possible. Also, maybe bishop c5 is possible, because bishop is more active on c5. Okay, knight bd2, this game, bishop g7, and now he took. So, black took with knight. Okay, d takes e5 uh, is possible, but uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this is possible also because of tactical reason. Now this, this, and knight takes e5. And probably this is uh, bad for black because if a bishop takes e4, check that black losing some materials. So now white is just pawn up. So now knight takes e5, black has no choice. Immediately, if d takes e5, black has choice. So theoretically, they can consider d takes e5, but anyway, knight takes e5 looks like more promising for me. So, bishop g7, d5, 
takes e5. Okay, maybe a6 also can be considered in this position. Try to understand what white will do with his bishop. For example, bishop c6, bishop c6, d takes e5. Most solid has to be some Soviet player. Why? Maybe Ulf Anderson, for example. Or Zoltan Ribli. I don't know. Difficult to say. Not necessary Soviet player. This position looks like acceptable for black. So after bishop a4, well, bishop g7, so I think a6. Uh, Bishop a4 is useful for black, more useful for black than for white. So a6 was a possible alternative. It's modern chess to play g6 and not uh, to be hurry with bishop g7. Okay, necessary to check uh, if there is some tactical refutation, but I don't think so. For example, bishop c4 we can check with the idea to attack f7 square. But okay, black also has his trumps. For example, bishop g7, d takes e5, d takes e5, queen b3. This is idea. Castle, bishop, queen takes b7, but uh, looks like uh, very risky business for white. Knight a5, queen b4, c5, for example. And black has very serious compensation. And queen takes c5, rook c8, and queen a3, black can take on c4 and take on a4. So a6 was quite a reasonable alternative. Not often, but uh, okay. But Zuckertor played Bishop G7, very solid line. D takes E5. He took with Knight. Now he has obligation to take with Knight, as I explained. So takes, takes, and Queen E2. So now, now Queen B3 is possible as well. But okay, so Black can. Uh, Play castle, try to, to have initiative against pawn, but also possible just defend pawn with rook b8, for example. And only the castle. So queen e2. Castle. And bishop d3. A little bit strange for me, but uh, okay. So Steinitz understand that Steinitz understand that in this pawn structure, bishop on g7 a little bit messy. But uh, okay. So in game 16 he played bishop d3. In next game he played f3. So uh, in next game he doesn't want to avoid uh, exchange of bishops. So usually white idea to exchange this bishop and then f3, knight c4, bishop e3, something like this. Okay, nothing special, but white is playing without any risk. So bishop d3, it's uh, more complicated. So white uh, has more pieces on the board. And now it's a positional game, so there is no tactic, quite dry position.
schlechter Swall. Okay, it's possible. Matter of taste. Okay, so after bishop d3, what played Zucker for me? So queen e7. Okay, totally normal move, but uh, depends what uh, what he wants. So queen e7, he played. No, queen e7 is logical because uh, there is d line only line which is opened in this position and uh, so queen e7 is the idea to to prepare rook d8 and probably okay black has uh, actually black has many alternatives here so for example uh, positionally bishop h6 is, uh, looks like uh, Interesting alternative idea to exchange this bishop after. If white plays knight c4, for example, black will exchange this bishop. This position is totally equal. So at the moment, I cannot uh, tell that bishop g7 is weakness of black position, but uh, in future it can be passive piece if imagine that. White will develop his pieces, for example, if imagine that White will play knight, for example, let's see some moves, like some natural moves, something like this, castle, okay, it's b6, a4, for example, okay, now it's more or less clear that bishop on e3 is more active than bishop on g7. Okay, probably exactly in this position black is still okay, but uh, for example, they have contraplay against the a4 pawn, probably white cannot play b4 immediately, but anyway, bishop on e3 is more active than bishop on g7. Then. For black would be better to have same position without these bishops. Because of this, uh, I think uh, idea of bishop h6 is logical. But it's not necessary, of course. So, queen e7. To, okay, uh, black has other plans, for example, knight e8, knight b6 to prepare f5. It's also a reasonable plan. But after knight e8, knight c4, however, it's possible, and this is question. If. Uh, it's, but okay, if knight c4, black can consider even b5. Then knight b6. Okay, it's double edged because it can be weakness, but white has also some problem in its development. If knight a5, c5 is coming, for example. So if not knight c4, so this and black is ready to play f5. So there are alternatives. But okay, Zuckertor played queen e7, totally normal move. But f3, and now bishop c6 is a very, very strange move because, uh, especially after f3, so white pawn e4 is uh, very well defended, so I don't uh, know which perspective can have bishop on c6. So now. Okay, in my opinion, the most logical move for black is bishop h6. Obvious idea, so I want to play rook d8, but uh, now or later white uh, will need to play with his knight d2, and uh, black will exchange uh, bishops, and uh, they will have quite comfortable position. No problem at all. Okay, it's equal position, probably similar after knight c4, but somewhere black can have uh, uh, concrete resources, something. for example, something like this. 
Okay, if queen e3, rook takes d3, and queen c5. This is cooperative variant, I, variation. Of course, uh, now there is refutation. Knight takes e5, and uh, and it looks like uh, black is just losing the pawn without sufficient compensation. So okay, at the moment, bishop b5 is uh, not good, but okay, bishop e6 is uh, much better. White cannot take on e5 because queen c5 check and uh, queen c5 check is threat somehow. Somewhere a2 pawn is also handy. So queen e3 is possible. Now knight takes e5 is threat again. Rook takes d3 and queen c5 doesn't work because knight e e3. But okay, black can uh, just play knight d7 and uh, very comfortable position because they are prepared for queen c5 or f6 first and queen c5. So positionally, I like bishop h6. Okay, uh, other moves are normal, like rook fd8, but bishop c6, surely, surely, it's, I cannot support such a move because uh, it's, it's, this is just bad move. In my opinion. Okay, it's not losing move, of course, because uh, black has a uh, very stable and very solid position, but uh, I don't understand any idea of this move. So, what is doing bishop on c6 uh, positionally? Nothing. And also, after bishop c6, white has uh, some tactical ideas with knight c4 and knight a5, or knight d3 and knight a5. Knight f1, knight g3 in this position looks strange because what is doing knight on g3 against pawn on g6. So, in my opinion, uh, uh, the most logical move was knight c4 here with threat uh, knight a5. So, black should play a5 or b6, uh, and now bishop e3, and uh, white has flexible position. And uh, then they, consi they can consider both possibilities of castle. So long castle is sharper play, short castle is more quiet play. But uh, of course, as I explained it, for, for black would be much better to have this position without bishops. Because of this, I strongly recommend it to play bishop h6. But Stein is played knight b3. I don't know what is doing knight uh, on b3 after b6. He played a5. Okay, a5 is normal move, but uh, in my opinion, b6 is uh, more logical plan. Now, uh, strange enough, but now it's possible that... Uh, it will be some sense to have a, a bishop on c6 because if, for example, bishop e3, black can try knight e8. And his plan will be knight d6 and prepare f5. Also, if white is doing something like this, black can, can do this trick. It's also an important trick in this structure. Bishop takes h6, queen h5. If white uh, protecting, uh, okay, black can try knight d6 to prepare f5. Okay, f5 is double edge decision anyway, but uh, at least uh, there is some logic to have bishop on c6 to prepare f5. Okay, white has uh, idea c4 and c5, for example, or knight d2, because f5 is a big question if, if it's so useful. Uh, f takes e4, that, uh, not threat, uh, not threat, f4 is uh, not threat at all, white has ideas, b4, a4, but okay, at least there is some logic. Okay, so knight c4 was uh, strong game, in my opinion, I don't know why Steinitz didn't play this. Probably, probably however, Zuckertort wanted to... Uh, uh, idea of uh, bishop uh, c6 was uh, um, to make free d7 square for his knight and then uh, to prepare knight d7, knight c5. But uh, if uh, um, 
he had such thinking more logical to play bishop e6 because uh, bishop on e6 uh, much more active than uh, on c6 uh, black has uh, control c4 square and then knight d7 knight c5 knight a5 uh, a5 it's also possible plot and somewhere bishop h6 it's, it's possible Okay, knight b3, let's come back, a5, not necessary, knight d7. Okay, he played knight d7, finally. Okay, in my opinion, anyway, was uh, b6 was more solid, or just rook fd8, to prevent bishop c5, but okay, he played knight d7. Knight d7 uh, also... Now, if white wants, they can exchange bishops. It's possible and quite good positional idea. And uh, after exchange of these bishops, uh, we can see that uh, bishop e3 is clearly better than bishop uh, on g7. Because of tactical reasons, black has no time for bishop h6. Because now, okay, if for example b6, white. Just castle or rook d1 firstly, and now in castle is more pleasant game because more active bishop. Also, probably nothing special, but uh, more pleasant for white bishop f8 is possible, a4 for example, something like this. So, bishop e3 is more active. But okay, Stein is played h4, he's playing in different flanks, so. He is trying uh, to organize attack. Looks a little bit strange, however, because uh, knight on b3. So, but uh, also uh, it's possible that it wasn't attack. It was uh, like defense against bishop h6. Because uh, if uh, white is doing something like rook d1, bishop h6 is possibility. Also. I'm not sure about tactical reasons. Maybe now white is better after bishop b5 because black has... Ah, black has no tactical problems because queen is three check. And after queen e2 takes, takes, rook d8, and then, and then king f8. Uh, okay, but uh, still, rook d5 is possible. I don't know, a4, rook... Uh, a4, knight c5. So maybe exists some tactical problems because after okay rook d7 ah rook d7 rook d1 still okay so played h4 okay it's hardly considered that this is a serious attack because knight on b3 it's very far from uh, uh, king's flank a4 played Zuckertort, logical, knight d2, but now h6, uh, okay, it's mm, very, very bad idea. <clears throat> so black provoke h5 to play g5, and uh, and uh, after this they have uh, obvious weakness uh, f5 square, so it's it's not possible to play by uh, such a way. Uh, very natural to play knight c5 here, of course. So h6 is bad move. Even very bad. So, so I didn't see uh, such uh, obvious mistake, for example, in match between uh, Stainitz and Anders. So after knight c5, looks like black has totally normal position. And also they have some tactical ideas. For example, if bishop c2, they can play knight e6 with idea knight f4. And if g3, a3 is coming. If b3, knight d4. Okay, but unfortunately it doesn't work because bishop g5. Another move with bishop d3 is coming. This is bishop g5 with refutation. So exactly in this position, 
this idea doesn't work. Okay, but uh, it doesn't work, but uh, at the moment white has no, no any threats. So, okay, they played h4 and what? Uh, there is d line and uh, black uh, can play here. So, rook d8, for example. What is my problem? h5, okay. But what is white's. Uh, after h5, I can uh, come back to this idea. If g3 to prevent knight f4, I have this idea. And d3 is coming. But even if uh, image that this idea not exists, black can just play rook d7 and rook a d8. White has no real attack. Who is attacking? So Because white has... Okay, white can try this, queen h2. Well, some chances for attack, but even here it's, it's nothing concrete. For example, after bishop h6, just queen f6, and black is defended well. Okay, in this concrete situation, maybe queen c5 even more active. But okay, from now something strange happens, so... Okay, uh, after knight c5, uh, probably white has other moves, but if bishop b5, rook fd8, again, is possible. And after bishop c6, knight d3 check. It's, it's uh, unpleasant somehow. White has good structure, but knight on d3, so probably black has uh, initiative here. Quite strong initiative. So rook b8 is coming, so I'm not sure that uh, white will be able to uh, consolidate uh, uh, his uh, position and try to realize better pawn structure. Although it's possible to analyze, of course, rook b8, rook hb1, something like this, but it's complicated. But okay, h6 is terrible, so h5, g5. And knight f1. So positionally it is a catastrophe for black. Knight uh, goes to f5 now and uh, surely black should do something but what? Maybe f5 was some chance. Something like this. But okay, black uh, are two pawns down, but uh, they can take back one pawn with chances of knight f6, for example, knight g3, rook e8, and then knight takes e4, probably. Possible to consider a3, but uh, one castle, I don't know if compensation is necessary, but okay, it, it looks, uh, it, it was uh, try to change type of position at least so f5 was uh, interesting after knight c5 bishop c2 okay it's uh, also a question if bishop c2 why not bishop b5 it's um, i don't know bishop b5 looks like very logical to exchange bishop who can protect f5 square and now looks like uh, very pleasant advantage for white. For example, rook d8, uh, probably only what can afraid stain it's. Ah, okay, now probably not so clear because knight d3 check and then c6. And white has obvious problem with his queen. So. Mm. 
Yes, so after rook fd8, suddenly black has very good contraplay. So uh, Stainis doesn't want to make uh, weak his uh, d this risk. Well, also bishop c4 was possible. Bishop on c4 is more active than on c2 and uh, knight g3 and knight f5 on next moves was a reasonable alternative. Okay, bishop c2, rook fd8. Okay, black should do something. Knight e6 is possible, but knight g3. If knight f4, queen f2, and white is ready for knight f5, also bishop c5 is threat. So, bishop d7. Okay, so temporarily black not allow knight f5, but okay, f5 uh, square is permanent weakness in black position, and another weakness of uh, black position is bishop on d7. For example, without uh, bishops e3 and g7, okay, it's possible to defend this position. Now it's much more difficult. And now white has pleasant choice of castle, but stain is playing with castle walkers. Probably he wants to play knight f5, e takes f5, and then g3, f4. It's not necessary, of course. So c6 played Zucator. Rook d2. Okay, king b1 prophylactic move was totally logical. Also, I like queen c4. Even I like very much because after b6, black has even more weaknesses. So c6 pawn will be weak. So white has knight f5 in better version. Then in the game, because of weakness on c6, so king b4 is possible. A king b1 was okay, uh, but Stanis played rook d2, bishop e6, and now he played knight f5. So this position, okay, and this position doesn't look like totally clear. Black has some contraplay, in my opinion, because. Um, White king also can be weak, but uh, this contraplay can be connected with e4. So, so e4 was uh, first move candidate. Okay, probably after taking, I don't know. Okay, he took here, but now knight d7. Strange for me, very natural looks e4. Here, the situation is very far from clear because now bishop g7 is active pieces, somewhere a3 can be threat. So, if rook d1, for example, black can take and rook e8. So now, I can, uh, if f, f4 is dangerous because takes, takes rook d8 and knight d3 is coming so somewhere a3, so it's uh, very far from co convincing for white. Okay, in my opinion, much more logical was to play just king b1, not hurry with knight f5, so pre uh, to prepare rook uh, d1. Okay, maybe it's possible as well uh, this, uh, but this is the pawn sacrifice, but maybe it's possible because this knight f5, if, if bishop a2, what is this knight f5 and Rook d6 is coming, white has initiated. Knight e6, rook d7 with strong compensation. Or just take with queen with same idea. So here white has a good compensation. Rook will try to penetrate to d7 somewhere, but okay, it requires some calculate. But king b1, it's solid move, not required because after this, this. Black cannot play rook d8 because of bishop takes c5. So knight f5 is very sharp option, but now black should play e4, maybe immediately even e4. Of course, bishop c5 and take the pawn even cannot be considered because black bishop g7 is much stronger than 
white bishop c2 and uh, black has streaks uh, connected with a3 so very strange play for both so rook takes d2 knight d7 so bad move certainly e4 was uh, was natural and uh, and much better so knight d7 is a bad move g4 knight f6 again it's possible to consider this idea and uh, now knight e5 probably i don't know if it's, it's correct but uh, at least black has some ideas knight c4 or knight takes g4 if queen e2 for example knight takes g4 is coming if bishop d4 knight takes g4 so situation is not so clear and black has uh, contraplay somewhere rook d8 somewhere a3 also but Sukertor played knight f6, he allowed uh, to block his bishop. Rook d8 he played. Queen c2. Okay, now white consolidated uh, position. There, there, is, there are no tricks with uh, e4. A, e, and uh, white has uh, better bishop. So bishop to e3 again is better than bishop f8. Knight d5, okay, b5, bishop takes c6. Okay, probably it's possible b5, bishop takes c6, e4, but with many pawns. So knight d5, b5, a3 played state. So wise idea, he wants to prepare c4. We start bishop f8 finally the Kertorp wants to, to do something with his bishop is it everything okay with stream can you hear me and see me hello okay good so bishop f8 rook d1 not hardly so maybe c4 immediately was possible as well but Rook d1. So white has positional threat to play c4 and uh, black has no satisfactory defend. And after c4 all of pawns uh, will be very weak and white bishops are very strong. Queen d7, rook d2. So black has no real attack. Bishop takes e3 doesn't work because uh, there is no mate from b1. Bishop e, from e4 protect everything, so it is hard for black to play this repeated move, but queen d3 staying in this plane for, for a week, of course. Maybe queen c2 is possible as well attack c6 pawn but he played queen d3 logical so because now he has uh, c2 square for his rook so black has too many weakness uh, white uh, needs only follow b2 pawn which is not so difficult so bishop e7 rook c2 bishop takes a3 it looks like desperation but what black can do King d2, rook d8, black hope to for some attack, but white has many possibilities to defend. Bishop takes d5, played stain. It's, in my opinion, nothing wrong with. Ah, uh, if rook c, rook c1, maybe knight c3 check was idea. Maybe this was trap. But even here, after bishop d3, queen b2, rook c2, knight b1, king e2, attack is stopped. So, queen b2, rook c2, knight b1, king e2. 
Sonra oksi var mı? Olsun. Enough for it. If light B6, King D1, C3. Or King D2. But okay, stay needs to put D5. It's practical decision. The decision to el eliminate knight from the board. King E3. Okay, for, for me, rook C1 looks more natural to to fight for E1 square for his king. Because if not knight C3, knight B4, white will play king E1 and the game is over. But okay, so probably choice of stadiums is enough as well. Black should play this rook because if take this pawn, king C7 is very strong. So king d3, this piece up. And... Okay, queen d1 was possible to try. This idea if queen e2, queen d4 mate, it's cooperating. But okay, the, there is no real threats. Um, but okay, it's some kind of domination. For example, with bishop g3, queen g1 check is possible. With bishop f2, queen d1. So, but, but okay, it uh, not works because um, black has no threats, so white, white can play queen c3, for example. It should be enough for him to prepare rook d2 or rook c1. So anyway, white is winning. So rook b b5 he played. Staying it's just two on c6. Rook b3, king e2, king h7. So black is pissed down and cannot create real threats. White has threat to play f6, for example, with this f6, this idea. The queen f5 check and rook c8 mate. This is idea of white. After king h7, he played. F6. King e4 check is threat, so Zuckerdorf play rook b2, but so wait, he resigned. For obvious reason. Well, so. A little bit strange opening, strange play uh, for both, but uh, good result for Wilhelm Steinitz. And after this victory, he he has plus two already. Okay, let's continue. Next game, Zuckertort played with white. So with white uh, was d4 something. So d4, d5, bishop g5. Bishop is seven. So if white wants to play Karlsbad system, c takes d5. More logical to start. And after e takes d5, bishop g5. Bishop e7, e3. Now Carlson played this against Maxoplu. Ob objectively dubious. I don't think that Magnus will repeat this line, but he because uh, now if C takes D5, Black can take this knight, and uh, in this position it's difficult for White to fight for advantage. Also, it's still playable. For example, takes takes Rook C2. This idea to take with D4. If E takes D5, okay, E3. We are playing Carl's butt. So knight f3, castle. For modern chess, uh, h6 is more common move order after bishop h4, only castle. And after e3, black his choice between knight e4, b6, or knight bd7. So 
C5. Okay, C5, uh, Zuckertort had weakness uh, to move C5 also to play in slab defense. Okay, in this position, it's, it's just bad. So it cannot be good move. So Stein is played simply B6. Take on B6 is big concession for white. He played B4, B takes C5, okay, A5 was also possible, black has excellent counterplay. For, for example, quite standard idea, A3 takes, 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 knight C6. After this, for example, it's possible to take, take on B4, and this piece sacrifice and then bishop takes b4 is excellent compensation also in some Nimtso indian lines black is doing this no, i mean here a bit stylish okay but uh, staying in uh, zuckertor took with d pawn and a5, now it's catastrophe after a3, d4, wow, so bad for white, so no development, uh, take on d4 is impossible because uh, rook on a1 will be unprotected, so it was terrible play for world championship match in opening. Bishop takes f6, g takes f6, brave decision, of course after bishop takes f6, black is excellent as well, but now it's even better, so this is terrible game for Zuckertort. B5 he played. Okay, difficult to um, recommend something good. It's so bad position. Well, for example, if he's three, uh, black can take, 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 bishop d7, and bishop takes c5, takes a pawn. E3 is hanging. B5 is not improvement. Bishop E6. G3. Okay, C6 looks like idea to, to play against knight. But, okay, at least uh, there is some logic to play C6. Big question why he didn't play this. Of course, black can uh, take on c6 and play rook b8 with an excellent compensation, but okay. Black has piece up and some practical chances. Knight b2, rook b5, so white is not totally. Yes, I, I'm looking for. c6 was after g3 he played c6 of course uh, okay so in this position black has uh, other promising options c6 immediately was possible for example but then after b6 try to attack for example bishop a6 to prepare knight d7 bishop b5 if e3 d3 So now c6 was the best chance at least. After g3 he played c6 and b takes c6. Okay, b6 looks better, but yes, it looks better. And then rook c1 at least. I don't see clear refutation. Okay, let's come back. So, very bad play from opening. D4, knight a4. So, 
we have very bad position, e5 played. Okay, maybe more precise was just take. And now e5, and now rook uh, a8 is active piece, and uh, situation is very bad for white. So now b5, c6 uh, never works because uh, bishop b4 check. Black has idea knight c6 in b5, knight b4, so certainly take on b4 was um, more precise. Okay, but he played e5, he allowed b5, now bishop e6. Okay, so now the situation probably not so clear like before, so white has some contraplay. But, uh, but b takes c6 is total disaster, so why not b6? And what Steinitz planned is so... Very bad play from opening by Zuckertor, but also strange, uh, still luck, but okay, white is planning to play bishop g2 and uh, castle. If bishop d5 somewhere, even bishop h3 is possible. And uh, big question, why, is, why it is bad for white? Okay, probably something like knight a6, rook c1, queen d5, bishop g2, queen b3. But okay, is it so clear? Knight d2 is possible. If queen takes, king takes, b3 square under control. If queen takes a3, rook a1, and it looks like... Looks like draw, queen b4, rook b1. So very strange game, but he took on c6, now he gave all. So queen c1, knight d2 was better of course. Black is better. Black has better position, but White can still fight. Okay, Bishop d5 is possible. Or King c7 simply. F5. Okay, Black is much better. But B takes c6 terrible. B6. Okay, so so obviously that B6 should be played. Interesting to understand what, what they were thinking in this position. Okay, but up in C1, it's D3 now. It's, it's very, very bad for white. F3, knight D4, elegant way. If not take knight, knight E2 is coming. And Beautiful game, but it's a difficult game. Stall. Pass three. Again, stain it with white. And here is repeating. Opening. Again, take on e5. Queen e2, but now he plays, instead of bishop d3, he played more solid move, f3. So he, um, he understands that the exchange of uh, these bishops is better for white than for black. But after a5, he played bishop d3 anyway. So, which wasn't necessary. More natural after a5 was. Uh, yes, of course, it's possible. It's possible uh, to give question. I'm trying to answer question. Okay, but somewhere I need to concentrate on the games. But usually I'm trying to answer 
all of the questions. So a5, as I explained, that bishop h6 was very resonable from from positional point of view in, in this type of position. But Zuckertor played a5. Now, personally, I would play something like this: knight c4, queen e6, a4, and then bishop e3. With logical idea to prove that my bishop on e3 will be better than bishop on g7. But okay, so bishop d3, queen e7, again bishop h6. Okay, I explained it already. My opinion, queen e7, knight f1. So more logical to have knight on c4, but knight c4 probably he doesn't want to allow b5, but it's a big question if it's so good for black because b5 pawn can be weakened, white can try to utilize c4 square and then bishop e3, knight f1. So where knight goes, big secret. Black has several ideas. So knight h5 even can be considered after g3 f5. Probably knight e3 was planted in this idea f4 knight d5. If c6, probably knight c4 is possible. With idea knight b6. Okay, bishop e6, g4. So White is trying to organize attack, which looks a little bit strange, but but staying it's like it. To play such things in Spanish or Italian games. So not castle, but prepare attack knight g3 and then h4, h5, or knight f5 in some moment. Only question if it's so strong. Rook fd8 played Zuckertort. Totally possible. Knight d7 is another try because now if knight g3 black has bishop f6 idea to prevent h4. So h4 is possible, but bishop takes h4, at least uh, not so convincing. Okay, uh, white can start this h4, but now black can try this, this, and for example, c6 with idea b5. And somewhere black has idea bishop d7, knight e6 to utilize a four square for his knight. f5? No, I don't think f5 is a good idea for black. So black should defend in king's flank and try uh, to have active play in another flank, in my opinion. For example, after this, maybe bishop d7 is idea. Prepare knight e6, knight f4. Or firstly, this. If h5, bishop f6 is possible to prepare bishop g5. So, and if take, take with f pawn. So for white, it's not so easy to organize real attack here. Yes, and black uh, will play a4, rook d8. So black has contraplay. Rook f d8, h4. Queen d7, strange move somehow. So d7 square is better to use for, for knight, in my opinion. So in my opinion, again, this was the best. And for example, this and 
Brook D8 to prepare knight D3. So white at the moment white has no real threats. If H5, as I explained it, bishop F6 is possible to prepare bishop G5. Or just rook D8 to prepare knight D3. But queen D7 is strange now. Bishop C2. Bishop G5 in which moment? Here, bishop g5, bishop g5, bishop f6. This exchange is obviously good for, for black. As I explained it, but uh, if bishop g5, bishop f6. Okay, no reason for sorry, I just explained it that in such type of position, black is dreaming to exchange bishops. Okay, so queen d7, bishop c2, h5, so he wants to block, knight e8, knight e3. Okay, so queen's, uh, king's slug is blocked, so... Queen c6 played Zucker Tort. Bishop f8 was possible with idea bishop c5. Maybe even more logical. Knight c4 is not uh, dangerous in that case because black has queen b5. But everything is protected. So if not knight c4, black is prepared for, for play bishop c5 to activate his bishop. And I have feeling that black has just a good position here. Because white has no attack. And black has good perspectives in queen's flank, in the center. Okay, also... Also, of course, a4 is possible, and then to play bishop f8. So now it's more or less obvious that uh, black has bad piece bishop g7, and there is time to activate. If it's possible, why not? So bishop, this was correct. Why can try a4 with idea to prepare knight c4? Okay, I do not say that white is uh, strategically lost, but uh, white is not better. So queen c6 and then bishop c5. Okay, uh, if choose, I would uh, prefer to play with black. So, so after even some strange moves, so let's see. So he played rook fd8, h4, queen d7, strange. But now he played h5, he blocked. Knight e3. Probably knight e3 is the best. Probably more logical to play bishop e3 and then knight d2 to control uh, c4 square. If knight d6, knight d2, then king f2. Okay, position. But anyway, black uh, has nothing to complain. But after knight e3, black is quite good. But queen c6 he played. So. So queen c6 is strange because, uh, okay, white uh, has ideas knight e3, knight c4, which doesn't work because bishop, uh, queen b5, or bishop b3. So, so logical for black was to play bishop f8 or uh, a4 firstly. It's possible uh, now to, to prevent bishop b3 and next move to play bishop f8, bishop c5. Queen c6 played Zucker Tort. Now, very logical for white is to play bishop b3 to exchange these bishops. But Stainitz played c4. Positionally, very, very risky move. So it looks like he is fighting for d5 square, but uh, is it so strong? I don't know.
Okay, but uh, after C4, type of position totally changed, and now there is concrete play. Okay, in my opinion, bishop f8 is the best. So knight d5, only what can white do? Bishop c5. And if bishop e3... Black cannot take on e3 immediately, of course, because knight e7 check. But, uh, well, king f8, for example. So at the moment, black is ready to take on e3. So. And totally playable position for both. b3. Uh, uh, Yes, b3 probably is the best idea to prepare queen takes e3 and protect the pawn because black wants to take on e3. If queen takes, queen takes c4. So probably white should play b3. And, uh, and as, yes, c4 is very creative move actually. And, uh, so. Not easy. To review this. But maybe after knight d5 also check is possible. Purely tactical idea. Because if now king f2, bishop c5 check with stamping. If bishop e3, I'm taking with check. And then I'm taking on c4 if queen takes. King g2, I can play something like this probably and prepare c6. If knight takes b4, a takes b4, white cannot uh, protect uh, his c4 pawn because uh, if b3, b5 is coming. Black has very reasonable counterplay here. So bishop f8, but okay, uh, it it looks like uh, Zuckertor doesn't understand that uh, bishop on g7 is bad piece. So yes, and now bishop b4 probably is strong. And black has reasonable counterplay. Okay, knight d6 played Zuckertor, and now bishop on g7 has no perspectives. This is a big problem for black. Bishop d3, of course not b3, because b5 is coming somehow. Bishop d3. So all is protected and black has problem to organize contraplay. Okay, maybe now f5 is uh, time to play, but it's always risky. change structures White has choice. Knight d5 probably is the best. Zuckertort played rook b8. Knight d5. Just play. So knight e7 is threat. White is preparing for bishop e3. So bishop d2 and This is very bad for black already because white has pressure on C line and uh, black uh, didn't solve his uh, positional problem with bishop on G7. So Zuckertort uh, have no feeling of bishop on G7 that he must do something with this. Now C6, okay, so he's trying rook C5. So white doesn't want to take, so... It looks like bad groom thing for, for black. Of course, Grunfeld wasn't born this time yet. Bishop c3. Terrible bishop on g7. Knight on d6 is good piece, but uh, it's hanging piece. 
Black is lost position many. Queen f2. Not yet. Okay, difficult to give a good advice. F7 is weakness and staying is utilizes. Bishop A2. Tranquilo. Only now Bishop F8 to avoid F6, but okay, there is no defense. Queen H5. Interesting. Okay, so already plus 3, so much is over. Another game to Kertort with white. So now instead of instead of uh, c5, very dubious or just bad light, he played solid e3. Stainitz immediately took on c4, which is not supported by modern theory, as I explained. And black usually played h6 or knight bd7 is another possible. Idea to play Capablanca 16. Black is playing this without h6, bishop h4 to prevent bishop g3. Because if, uh, for example, to play h6, bishop h4 takes takes knight d5, now bishop g3 is possible. Also, Lembit all played this position with black. I think um, white is slightly better. After knight takes c3, b takes c3, b6, castle, bishop d7, and now queen e2, then rook fd1 is cut. The problem for black is that if c takes d4, knight takes d4, so classic is threat, knight takes e6. Okay, so it's not so easy for black to equalize. Oh, also, okay, it's possible to consider knight of 6 here just on sacrifice, typical for Grunfeld defense. But I don't know if there is really sufficient compensation, but it's quite standard idea. For example, if bishop d6, black can take, and queen c5, and so queen d8, try to attack with black. If c takes b6, a takes b6. There is some compensation in Grunfeld defense style. Objectively, white is bad. Okay, what else? Queen c8, but after queen c8, e4 is coming, and white is strong game in that regard. So here, knight d5. It's Capablanca system. Well, so, but Stanis played d takes c4, bishop takes c4, knight bd7. Now white has obvious initiative yeah, because black allowed to take on c4 without losing the tempi. Only question how to develop this initiative. Castle, okay, castle is natural move, but white can also consider e4. It's a big question, however, if it's really strong because black has this kind of contender. E5, C takes D5. If E takes F6, G takes F6. So the situation is far from clear. If Bishop takes H6, Bishop H6, D takes C4. So if uh, Queen takes D4, Knight B6. So black has contraplay because white has some hanging pieces. Like this. Bishop h6, queen takes d4, and rook d8. This is idea to play this position. So, castle c5. Again, looks like Stainitz wants to play against isolated pawn. So, he wants to take on d4, and then if e takes d4, knight b6, bishop d7, bishop c6, something like this. But oh, white has choices. Queen e2. If c takes d4, totally possible to take with knight as well. Okay, 
Петрович Смит пишет, для чего, мол, писаться. So, probably if C takes D4, Knight takes D5. This black is very far from equality here, because white has more active pieces. Knight D6, D takes C5. It's not isolated pawn, it's different structure. So probably more precise for black if they wanted to play knight b6, take firstly, and, and now play knight b6. Because now he allowed d takes c5, b takes, and the pieces uh, are situated quite bad. So it was a real chance to secure court. Still fight in the move, so e4, very logical. Of course, white has other promising possibilities, like knight e4, for example, was strong, and if bishop e7, knight d6, also was possible. But black can defend. Ah, queen b6 is not possible, because knight takes c8, rook takes d7, and bishop and bishop takes e7. If queen c7, bishop g3 is unpleasant. So For example, if knight h5, knight f5. But okay, e4 is very logical. White wants to push e5 and have domination in the center. So black has very bad position. Six, a three, a four. Bishop f four, excellent maneuver. And now, okay, rook d eight was bad move, but uh, very difficult to suggest something better for for black. And now, Zuckertort could win. Very simple. Knight takes c six was winning move. And black uh, simply losing the piece because, um, for example, if queen takes c6, white is just taking and bishop b5. So queen needs to go c8 or c7, knight a4, and b4. If black can reside. Okay, what else? B takes c6, uh, knight a4, winning. Okay, so rook takes d1, but uh, okay, necessary to understand what is the best the most convincing way to win. Okay, anyway, queen takes d1. So if b takes c6, knight a4. If queen takes c6, bishop b5 again. So black is completely losing. If queen b6, b4 is coming, so if queen c8, knight a4. So after knight takes c6, so, so Stein is played so bad that after knight takes c6, he, he just loses the piece and he can just resign here. Rook d8 was very bad. Okay, probably knight c7 was last try but, but anyway very bad position for probably at least uh, black uh, not losing by force rook d8 big mistake Q 
exchange slow okay it's not topic for today maybe we will consider exchange slow in another video so now okay we can consider this this before this this it's not force in line but uh, now now okay black has some choice between knight a4 or knight e4 so they are not losing by force uh, for knight e4 however it's losing because uh, this this bishop d3 Queen takes e5 is only move to protect knight. Now f4 is winning. But if queen d6, bishop h7, rook takes d6, and queen d3 check. Now white is winning. But uh, after, uh, so knight e4 is mistake, but uh, after correct move knight a4, black totally can fight. So nothing. Uh, really terrible for, for black so knight c7 is certainly much better o of course uh, uh, this this knight d5 maybe but okay unpleasant position for black surely but not losing by force rook fd8 for example it's possible but stain is played rook d8 so so the very bad play probably they are already tired. Uh, or what? And Zucker Tort played knight db5, so he missed such a simple win. So, if you calculate variation, especially in such a promising position, firstly, it's better to consider captures and checks. So, knight db5 is positional move. Knight xc6 is captured. So and if it works, okay, no reason to spend time for. So it's easy to calculate that knight takes c6 winning and just to play this move, not spend time for to consider other possibilities because why not win the piece? But Zuckertor played knight b5. Okay, also situation looks like very bad for black, but rook d1, rook d1, queen takes d1 also was uh, option. Show again queen takes c6, no, after queen takes c6, rook takes d8 first. Again capture. Now knight uh, even not protected by bishop and bishop b5. So queen b6 not possible because before at least. So after queen c7, knight a4, b6 before. Time to resign. So after okay, b takes c6, knight a4. <coughs> Wins immediately. So rook takes d1, queen takes d1. So again, if b takes c6, knight a4, winning. So if queen takes c6, same, same idea. Bishop b5. And if queen b6 b4, if queen uh, goes uh, c7, same idea. So very easy. Queen c8. Okay. Everything is winning. Knight a4, b6. Okay, black has idea with knight c7, but, but uh, certainly it doesn't help. White can. Okay, the simplest is to take with knight. Queen b7, rook takes c5, queen takes b6, rook c8. So, so very easy. And, but okay, knight b5 was played. Rook takes d1, rook takes d1. Queen takes d1 also was interesting option to have a rook on c line and 
to have thread knight a4. Also, hard situation for black, but probably they have idea something like this in bishop g5. Try to exchange bishop because f4 doesn't work. Bishop f4 and knight d3 check. So black is fighting. Bishop takes b5, probably strongly, however. But now again, bishop b5 is unprotected, so bishop g5, so black is fighting now, so it's, they are not losing bad position, but not losing by force at least. So he took with rook, bishop takes b5, knight takes b5. Bishop takes b5 was possible as well. This promising position. For example, if bishop takes b5, if knight c7, it's only a reasonable move. I don't see other reasonable moves. And now rook d7 is interesting. And very bad news for black. But okay, now black can take on d7 and take on b6, so white has excellent winning chances, but it's still fight. Okay, so Zuckertor took with knight, now b4 is threat, so queen c6, Stain is trying to defend, b4 takes tricks, knight d7, knight d4, also good played, queen e4, knight takes e6, So looks like white is winning, and, but now very strange moment. So bishop d5 was very simple move and difficult to imagine how not win in this position. <clears throat> so what black should do? Queen takes before only reasonable move. Queen goes, okay, queen g4, I just take and, and take, so I'm totally winning. If another move with queen, I will just take on f8, but here, okay, knight takes f8, and white is totally winning. King takes f8, only move, because if bishop takes f8, bishop d4, white wins a piece, so king takes f8, Everything is winning. Probably the simplest is bishop takes h6. So, so simple. So, bishop d5, okay. So, very difficult to understand what happened with players. So, Stade is played so bad, but Zuckertort. Okay, thank you. So, It's question if uh, Steinitz could improve somewhere his defense, I don't know. Maybe uh, instead of knight d7, maybe knight a4 was more stubborn. If knight d4, queen c8, okay, only achievement for black is not lose by force position is very bad. Now, knight d4, yes, so Steinitz was very lucky, or Zuckertort was so tired, I don't know what was problem, but so very difficult to understand uh, why he didn't play bishop d5. So, obvious move. Gives. Okay, if not bishop h6, okay, many moves is winning. Bishop d2 is simply winning move. And if queen b2 only reasonable, at least this white is winning. Okay, but bishop takes h6. Bishop d4 is winning. Okay, everything is winning. 
Quincy too is brilliant this idea of Rukh Divano, this idea of Greenwich Seven. So, so why it has, but Bishop XH6 the most natural. Again, uh, capture. Again, capture. In, please consider in first queue, especially in promising position. So, captures, checks, and then other moves. So, Mark, okay, Bishop D5. He didn't play, so he took on F8. Knight takes C4. So, battle is continued. Knight, now it's not so easy. Black pieces uh, are more or less active, uh, so white has weakness on b4, so the game starts again. So knight takes f8 is very strange and primitive blunder. Knight takes c4, knight d7. Okay, white still is better, but it's fight. Queen d3, Queen g4, okay, also Queen g4, it's very difficult to, to understand some logic. For, for example, if black wants to play Queen e6, much more logical to play Queen e6 immediately. So, no idea to provoke h3 because it is useful that h3... Uh, it's obvious that h3 is useful move for white. So this rook b1. He wants to attack bishop. Okay, and uh, still after many mm, mistakes, white has excellent winning chances. And uh, he wants to try attack b7 pawn. Bishop d4 was logical alternative, however. But okay, rook b1 he played. Bishop is attacked. He wants to take. Knight takes e3. Queen takes e3. This is not so obvious move. Okay, uh, good move, uh, normal move, but why not rook takes b4, for example? It's not obvious for me. So, black pawn b7 attacked and knight is attacked. So, what to play? It's a big mystery. So knight d5, rook takes b7. After queen e1, queen f1, simply possible. Also king h2 is strong as well because knight is hanging. If queen c6, okay. Queen c6 probably it's a question because if rook a7, knight f4. Suddenly white has problem with uh, g2 pawn. Queen f3 now, it's only move and... Ah, oh, oh, queen f1, it's better. Queen f1. Okay. And it should be winning for white. Because g3 is prepared. Black has no contraplay. If knight c7, knight e5 is coming. So it was possible to take. After queen c6, probably queen b5 is strong as well. If queen c1, queen f1. If now queen c6, only now rook a7, not allow knight f4 with 10 pin. So rook takes b4 was quite direct way for, for win, but he took this queen. Queen takes d7. Anyway, excellent chances for win, but Stain is still fighting. Queen f4, king f8. Okay, now... Black has some chances. White has some technical difficulties. 
So he played uh, queen takes d6. In my opinion, king g3 was more precise. This idea to take this king and activate king uh, as soon as possible. But okay, now queen g6 probably. So probably he was lazy to calculate. Okay, he took. So we have this end game. And still looks like white has winning chances, but okay, this is uh, at least not so easy. So black has some contraplay. So, in my opinion, queen takes e3 was a mistake. So, rook takes b4 was much more direct way for win. Uh, sorry, it's strong. Strong move. Because black losing uh, pawn b7 by force and this material is winning for white. After queen takes e3, okay, black is not losing b7 pawn by force and uh, they are still fighting. Is it okay with my stream? So, Please confirm that you can hear and see me. Yeah, but I have another question. Maybe uh, in this position for white was better to, pl to play with queens. So he played queen f4. Maybe rook f4 was better. Because uh, with queens... Uh, Black king cannot support uh, b, uh, b7 pawn. And so black has no active play uh, with uh, b pawn. So rook f4, I like move. And uh, black cannot utilize uh, the spin because if g5, white can just take. Sorry. And now queen f6 or, or queen f8, of course. So black cannot play g5. So black should play knight c7 or knight f6. And g3. And I have same position but with queens. And uh, I think uh, here it's more easy for white to win because uh, black king cannot uh, support b5 pawn. So white can uh, organize some maintenance threats and attack uh, uh, b7 pawn. So it, much be, uh, it, it, it would be much more easy win uh, for white than, with, uh, than without queens. Maybe knight c7. But anyway, g3 it's possible to prepare rook d4 so or maybe uh, now it's possible uh, to exchange queens because now if black is taking rook is penetrate to d7 which is uh, totally hopeless for black so queen d4 is even stronger not allow knight e6 if knight d5 just g3 uh, black is hopeless. So queen f4 was a mistake. Okay, uh, I'm not claiming that uh, this is a serious mistake, but uh, after rook f4 uh, uh, was much easier to win for white than after queen f4. So queen f4 I will call like mistake. King f8, okay, now let's, let's fight somehow. So it's not so easy because uh, black has plan uh, to have knight on d6 and the uh, king goes to support uh, the pawn. So black has some chances to survive and not so easy more anymore. Okay, but still white has excellent chances to win. Okay, queen takes d6, N not necessary uh, immediately to take, white has choice, but okay, he played this. Uh, as I mentioned, king g3 was uh, interesting alternative if uh, king, 
between G6, uh, King F3, but okay, so there are some checks, so he could uh, afraid some ghosts, so uh, Queen takes D6 is logical, but now King G3, normal move, of course, but... Uh, But maybe it was resolvable to, to play h4, try to fix uh, uh, g7 pawn as, as soon as possible. For example, here, here, now, if black kings with go, will go to c6, white will attack rook g4. So try to immediately do something. If h4, king g3, king f4, king g5, there is plan. Okay, so... This endgame, White still has excellent winning chances, but it's uh, already not so easy as before. King e7, h, uh, king f4. So, uh, looks logical, but uh, uh, four, uh, rook g4 is stopped. So, it's a problem for White. But okay, h4, king d5, g4. G4 I don't like, so in my opinion, king e3 was correct idea here to prepare rook g4 somehow. For example, if b5, king d3. So king will fight uh, with... Uh, b5 pawn and my rook will try to pro provoke uh, another weakness so for example this uh, white can play rook g4 or rook f4 even for example b4 but now this pawn is harmless knight has no moves white can just play h5 and uh, i think white should win this step by step Black has no contraplay because knight cannot play after f6, rook g4, after f5, okay, king c2 simply. So, white should organize his strategy. So, king must to fight against b pawn and the rook must to do something in king slot. So, for this goal, king e3 was correct move. Also, of course, uh, immediately king e3 was logical with same idea to put king on d3 or oh, if allow on b4. Okay, five is natural and this. And white is ready for rook g4, rook f4. It must be winning, although white has technical difficulties. But Sukertort played h4, g4, b5. So now white has no f4 and g4 squares. Uh, f4 they have. Uh, so, but, uh, but but okay. If now king e3, black has knight c4, and uh, rook uh, is not able to go to f4 immediately. Okay, maybe still some winning chance. This this this, and then. Try to activate rook, rook b1, rook e1, something like this. Maybe it was the best. But he played rook b1, king c5. Rook c1, king d5. Again, white still has winning chances, but uh, of course... Uh, this position require quite uh, concrete play and good calculation. He played king e3. I'm not sure that this is a good idea. Rook c7 looks like the best idea here. Because now knight on d6 is not so active anymore because pawn must be protected after b4, king e3. But uh, there is question if black has g5. I don't know if takes takes. Because if king takes g5, b4, and suddenly this pawn can be dangerous. But uh, I'm not sure that this idea works, however, because white has something like king, uh, king f6, b3. Rook c1, maybe white is winning here anyway, but it's necessary to calculate. 
maybe it's winning. But if b4, king e3, it's my idea. Again, so I want to have king uh, uh, to fight with uh, b pawn and uh, rook uh, to attack pawns. But uh, super tort uh, made something differ differently. Also now rook d1 probably. logical idea uh, try to understand where king will go if king e6 uh, uh, b5 pawn it's not so dangerous anymore so if king c5 uh, king e5 and again white has same plan to have a king close to b pawn after b before rook d5 is possible, rook d7, uh, rook, uh, okay, rook d7 is also possible, check, king d4, with excellent winning chances, also still maybe not so easy, but But I don't see how black can survive because after okay after b2 rook takes c4 is winning. If king b3 rook c8 is, is winning. If king a3 rook c8 as well, so this is winning. Yes, c2 d6 d3 d7. So king e3, but uh, what he played? b4, king e3. Ah, it was in game. So what was in the game? King c5, ah, he played rook c1. Ah, king e3, knight c4 he played. Ah, and now white has problems that if king d3, knight e5 check. White is losing g4 points. So king e2 he played and now before and now b3 is coming and uh, after king d3 black always have knight e5 so now probably white cannot win anymore because b3 b2 is very unpleasant threat. So he allows everything. So uh, big mistake was uh, knight e3, uh, king e3. So after rook d1 or rook c7, it looks like white is still winning here. At least I don't see how black can survive. Rook d1, probably I would prefer. But king is three looks like mistake. Now knight c4, now black has good contraplay, probably sufficient to save the game. King e2, if not king e, if king d3, knight e5, if uh, another move before is coming, so before and now. Also, I'm still not sure about draw here. For example, maybe rook d1 immediately was possible. King c5 is the most reasonable for black. And now rook uh, d7. Ah, but b3 is coming. And rook takes f7, not possible because b2. And if rook b7, knight b6, black is winning suddenly. So only move uh, 
King D1, but uh, King D1, Knight E5, black has strong contraplay. Ah, rook is uh, uh, rook is seven, king d six. Mm, but okay, rook b seven. Okay, still white has been in chances at least. Yeah. But he played rook b one. So <clears throat> his mistake, uh, mistake of Tsukertor, he didn't understand that king should fight with b pawn, not rook. But now he has rook. And uh, what is doing King is uh, it's not clear. So uh, King C5, and now F4 he played because King D3, Knight E5. But okay, maybe. Ah, if king d1 again, knight e5, black has strong contraplay against weak pawns. So probably now white cannot win this anymore. At least it is very difficult. If rook b3, for example, knight e5 and pawn is attacked, king c4 is coming. So he played f4, now knight a3. Black pawn suddenly became really dangerous. So white king is out of play. So rook c1, king d4, rook c7, b3. <coughs> So it was uh, capture as a b4 pawn. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, Zuckertort had so many possibilities to win this game, but he didn't win. Last game. Okay, it's not shame, but it was, was painful. Last game was... Steinitz played his gambit with plus three score, and he decides that he can take some risk. Now black has choice: queen h4 check. Also, bishop b4 is good line. If, if bishop f4, knight f6. Queen h4 check. King e2. So. As I remember, modern theory is rook c7, king b2, king b2 here, white can just take. King b2 is not a good idea, because, uh, because black cannot play for win here. Sorry. He played d5. Okay, d5 is strange. He allows to take this tempi. Here, theory is d6, knight f3, bishop g4, is, according to my memory at least, this castle. If king e3, this. If bishop e2, black can play g5. Bishop takes g5, not possible because bishop takes f3. If knight takes g5, knight f6. If, for example, h3, it's possible to take, and queen g6, black has an excellent compensation. Lyosh Portish played this with black. Barley Portish. d5 he played. d5 is strange. He allows, he takes d5 with stampy. Queen e7. It looks like he is ready for draw. 
but stains plate for heavy knight takes d4 queen takes d4 is not possible because queen e2 check and then d takes c6 if queen e5 d takes c6 if knight e5 knight f3 Okay, somebody explain me two hours uh, and then uh, two hours for 40 moves and then some break. I don't remember. So, ah, 30 moves for the first. Uh -huh. So, queen takes d4 is losing, so he took with knight, h takes g3. Black has problem with development. If queen f6, uh, bishop f4 looks pretty unpleasant with uh, threat knight e4. Probably black should play this bishop f5 and, and then bishop c5 somehow. If bishop takes c7, rook c8 probably. So he played queen g4, queen e1 check. Queen f6 probably was better than queen g4 because queen g4 hanging piece somewhere rook h4 is possible. But obviously white has initiative here enough compensation. Bishop f4, bishop f5, but it's playable position. So g3 it means that uh, Stainis doesn't want draw so probably he, f he felt that his opponent is in very bad shape. Okay black is not losing the piece because knight e7 is possible but in, in that case knight f3 queen f2 check so black can fight so h takes g3 and knight f3 is coming unpleasant position black has more than enough compensation for the pawn but okay it's still some fight for sure so knight takes d4 he took h take queen g4 dubious move queen f6 probably was better queen e1 check bishop e7 bishop d3 and now rook h4 is very unpleasant threat so black has no time for, for some normal moves because rook h4 is threat after bishop f5 for example c5 not possible because d6 so black has big problem with uh, his knight on d4 But uh, I don't think that this position is really hopeless for black. Uh, I think black should play king f8 here. <coughs> now rook h4 is stopped. And bishop f4, my idea is to play bishop f5. some attack against c2 pawn okay uh, white has good position after rook d1 but uh, game still continued at least but super top played knight f5 knight f3 so White has huge advantage in development, so black has very bad queen on g4, bishop d7 he played. If knight f6, bishop f4 was extremely unpleasant with, white, with threat knight e5. So knight e5 immediately is possible but if knight e5 queen d4 so it's really bad for black moves 
against knight e5, I don't see. Knight h5 is possible, but after knight h5, I can simply take on c7. c5, d6, here, where c5, d6, okay, so bishop d3, okay, if c5, d6, it's possible, it's, I just win the piece. Of course, white has another idea, rook h4, for example, queen d7, rook takes d4, and bishop d5, even the queen, but c6 is much stronger, so. So, okay, d5 is a very strange choice. So, queen h4, bishop b4 are very good options for black. Of course, after queen d4, white cannot take knight because queen is too much. It's too primitive. Trap. So, h takes. Bishop d7. He wants to prepare one castle, but it's too late. Bishop f4. Knight e5 is coming and. Black has no defense. F6, he played. Knight E5. And now he played Knight H6. He, he lost immediately, but uh... okay. King F8 only reasonable idea here. Uh, if long castle uh, if queen a5 is winning or queen c3 so king f8 was uh, only try to to fight but very bad position for black of course white has many good ideas But at least uh, they are not winning by force. If knight f2, queen g6, for example. Unpleasant position. But... Okay, white can take on c7 simply, for example. Yes, white can take on c7. It's a good idea to prepare d6. But okay, so. Still some fight. D6, bishop d8. If knight c5, bishop c6. So not immediately. Okay, maybe this queen g6, uh, black is under pin g4. But okay, h5. Ah, if h5, bishop f5. Knight h5, white is winning. It's convincing. So after g4, bishop takes f5 and knight h5. So if knight h6, same idea, white can take with rook here. And knight h5. C3. Also, he played f4 in second. After he takes f4 in this position. So also he played this. Not proper. And here, Sergei Karyakin against Harry Kasparov played queen d8. Very interesting move. Idea to prepare g5 after knight f3. 
and uh, if uh, after d4 he played knight f6 idea if e5 knight h5 if bishop f4 bishop d4 was game kasparov karyakin black has good position Queen d8 is interesting. This move over, but uh, it's a fair court. Now bishop b4, queen h4. Black has two good options. But Zuckerthor played d5, it's really strange. d5 was that has a good position bishop g4 knight f3 and it's so g3 stain is playing for win not a draw so so here he is hopeless so king f8 is losing because knight f2 and g4 is coming. So what else? Queen g6. Okay, it's possible, but very bad position. If you play knight h6, but simply take. G takes H6. Match is over. Ah, knight G5. Uh, it was a barley portish game. So it was uh, D4, D6. Uh, so uh, sorry, Queen H4 first. Knight g5, knight f6. Black has good h3, bishop takes e2, queen takes e2, queen g6. This is maybe. And black is ready for bishop h6 or g8 or rook e8. Black has many threats. Okay, maybe computers already find something. Well, for today is enough, so match is over. Wilhelm Steinitz was winning with his score plus five, more than convincing. But uh, but uh, frankly speaking, I am not so impressed with this match as uh, as match uh, between uh, as matches between Anderson and Morphy or Anderson against Steinitz. So my opinion, quality of games in this match was much weaker. And if compare with uh, those match, I mean Anderson Morphy and Anderson Steinitz. So Steinitz uh, played stronger when he had uh, 30 years than when he had 50 years. It's nothing strange. He was young, he had more energy and he played strong. Gertort objectively was weaker opponent. So, especially in March, in tournaments probably different. So, for example, like a tournament player, uh, Steinitz hardly uh, could, uh, could be considered like world champion, but uh, he played uh, strong in matches. But in this match, okay. Okay, he played better than Zuckertort, but, um, but frankly speaking, I'm not so impressed uh, with him like... Uh, 
in his match against uh, Adolf Andersen. So if approximately level, okay, so Zuckertort about uh, 2450 and Steinitz 2500, not more, I think. It's maximum. Okay, so good night. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for your subscription. We will follow to discover the world of chess. Blackburn. Blackburn. Zuckertort against Blackburn. Okay. Uh, ah, game with black. Zucker. Ah, game. Okay, it's only one game. Probably they have uh, they played match as well. I don't remember. Zuckertort against Blackburn. I didn't check. Okay, I can check it. Oh, also, somebody asked to show games of Unzicker. Okay, I will ask Zuckertort Blackburn. Okay, but now I need to sleep. It's 12 o'clock by night, so I need to sleep. Good night.